Hi, I'm Sarah Snowwalk, a product manager at Snowflake. Today, I want to tell you about Snowflake's new streaming capabilities. With Snowflake, you can drastically simplify streaming ingestion and transformation pipelines, making them easy to deploy, scale, and manage while also being cost effective. Let's jump right in. In this demo, I will play the role of a data engineer at a ski goggle manufacturing company who is tasked with providing new insights to our quality engineers quickly so they can take action to improve our uptime and throughput. To start off, let's use Snowflake's Kafka connector, which uses Snowpipe streaming generally available soon to ingest the sensor data from the injection molders. Streaming data is ingested as rows in real time, directly into a table in Snowflake without needing to land it in a separate object store first. We can see the sensor data has started streaming into Snowflake. We can also switch over to SnowSight to check that the row count is going up. Next, we will use dynamic tables, now in public preview, to create a pipeline to process and transform the data and get a clear picture of machine maintenance over time. Since dynamic tables are declarative, we simply define the output of the transformation as a SQL query and set the target for data freshness as one minute, all using SQL. This dynamic table is calculating the latest number of outages for each machine using a window function and the quality engineer assigned to maintain it by continuously joining the streaming sensor data with the maintenance log. To test this, let's run a manual refresh to populate this dynamic table. This will tell us which machine is a good candidate for replacement and which tech to talk to. The refresh is now completed, so we can query the dynamic table to see the results. Looks like machine 18 seems to go down most often. Next, let's create a second dynamic table that reads from the first and joins against the machine location table to show the average number of outages by factory line, which tells us which factory line has the best uptime. So now we can let our team know that factory line 73 has the most effective maintenance techniques with fewest machine outages and should be the model for other lines to improve maintenance schedules and thus overall throughput. And with that, my pipeline is ready. Three things to note here. First, the results of this pipeline will be automatically and continuously refreshed as new data arrives. And because the results are materialized, it is always fast to query. Second, with built-in incremental refresh support, my pipeline will only process data that has changed, helping keep my costs low. And third, I don't have to manage any complex dependencies or manage my orchestration. It just works. Since these streaming pipelines are now critical for our business, observability is key. In SnowSight, we can track and monitor status of our dynamic tables and quickly diagnose and resolve any issues. We can look at the refresh history for any dynamic table to see the current data freshness metrics over the last 24 hours. The status of each refresh and the volume of data processed. We can also view the graph to track dependencies, making troubleshooting pipeline issues and finding bottlenecks super easy. Now, say we want to look at all up factory efficiency. I could write the queries to do this myself, but what if I didn't have to? So instead of writing SQL, I will use Snowflake's new conversational text to code capabilities currently in development. I want to create a dynamic table that will show me the efficiency of our machine output with respect to energy consumption. We can simply use a comment in the worksheet in SnowSight to ask the question and Snowflake will use large language models or LLMs to automatically generate the dynamic table SQL for me. And just like that, we can see 
that our text-to-code capability delivers the DDL for a dynamic table that will answer my question, all without me having to write any SQL. With that, let's recap. In this demo, first, we ingested streaming data using Snowflake's Kafka connector, which uses Snowpipe streaming. Then we use SQL and dynamic tables to easily join streaming sensor data with maintenance data with the results automatically refreshed as new data streamed in. Then we showcased our full observability on SnowSite. And finally, we showcased Snowflake's new text-to-code conversational experience to create dynamic tables without writing any SQL. Hope you enjoyed this demo. If you like content like this, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.